this course via API using Grafana. Uh, even before I start, uh, I had some interesting talk yesterday, so it's not about Prometheus, so don't worry. And it will be very fun, and I have keep it short, so it will be not very lengthy, and maybe if we have some time, we can do like a demo as well. So um, my name is Usman. Um, I work in Grafana as a developer advocate, and uh, I have been here around in Grafana about a year now. Yeah, and um, uh, I work with the open source community a lot uh, you know, on GitHub or s uh, community forums. And uh, beside work, uh, or in my previous role, yeah, I work uh, as a, uh, in the technical support area, mostly for Linux, for supporting Linux application, either running uh, locally or on cloud, public or private. And beside work, I live in Germany. Uh, I have a small family. And if I have some free time, uh, then I create some blog posts. Also, I have my own, starting created my own YouTube channel, so it's very beginning right now. But there is some place you need to start, so yeah. Um, uh, today, I have a very interesting story to share with you, um <coughs> which is uh, we are using in Grafana, but uh, let's start from what we had. So this is basically a screenshot of our community uh, website which is uh, running on Discord. So this is our community website page. And as you can see, like there is a lot of uh, uh, categories for Grafana, Loki, Tempo, and there are some subcategories. So you can see that um, Grafana has a big subcategory and people, users come ask questions, maybe some feature requests, some, some issues, some bug fixes, and yeah. So it's really good, we get a lot of traffic, and we try to help them and uh, it's all good. But uh, then it raises also a question that is our effort are going in the right place. Maybe I am answering three questions which are helping three users, but there are maybe three other questions which uh, need more attention because people are asking like, hey, this is something not working since let's say recent update or so. And we need to track it because Running a big community like what we have here in Grafana is a big challenge because there are so many users. So for that, uh, this course do provide some uh, reporting tools which are built in, which help us a bit, yeah. So we get some uh, statistics uh, which is good. We can see like what's going on, what's happening right now, what's not, yeah. But this is not enough. And the reason is that, that every company and every department measure performance in their own defined way. For example, uh, this tool give you maybe report for, uh, for, for month or maybe for year, but you need uh, data for the last quarter or last six months. And for that, this tool will fail because it is defined what is defined, it is hard coded. Um, and then there's a challenge like, okay, how we can get such data, right? And to measure the performance or see like if the community is doing good or not, we need to track it. And luckily, this course do provide one small plugin which is called Data Explorer plugin. This is supported by this course itself. What it does is that um, it allows you to create SQL style uh, queries and uh, you write a SQL query, you connect, uh, you send it to the this course and it, you will get the results uh, based on it. And it is also supported by API as well. So it is really easy, but also very powerful to use it. So let's take an example. Um, this is my SQL query, right? And I'm using just basic standard SQL query to get top 20 posts in the last quarter. So it has typical select from where clauses. Okay, I'm putting some filters, but depends in, maybe in your use case, it might be less filters, but still the procedure is very similar to what you see in any SQL. And <coughs> and this is the result we get. So this plugin uh, gives you uh, data in two formats. It gives you in JSON and also in CSV format. So this is all good. Now we can see, ah, okay, uh, we got some data for the top 20 posts and it's all in JSON. And uh, now I have something to show. But uh, this, is <laughs> uh, this is good, but again, it's not enough. Because imagine if you have a community like so big uh, where you have so many forum posts and categories and subcategories, it will be a challenge. Okay, you can maybe 
measure this perform uh, uh, read this for maybe three to five uh, categories but for 20 or 30 or if you need uh, for example um, let's say uh, results for maybe for the last two quarters or three quarters then you have a lot of data and the second challenge here is that this is in JSON which is good but maybe you and I can read it not everyone in the company can read it because maybe the they are not technical people and they if you show them to the stakeholder they will <laughs> definitely say like what the hell like I don't understand JSON and I need something which is more readable for me, for others who are not technical. And this is, uh, okay, still it's data, it's coming from API, but how to make it more useful for others to can, who can read it. And this is how we are doing this in Grafana. So we are monitoring our community performance uh, using Grafana, and this is a dashboard which we have built, uh, which gets all the metrics you need. So you can see like uh, in this example, we have uh, selected the subcategory of alerting and it shows some like, hey, these are the posts, uh, these are the response rate. These are the posts which are solved or unsolved based on the views, also getting the typical total number of posts as well. And uh, this is now helping us a lot to improve our community performance because before that we were helping users, but we don't know like in which direction we should go. And this is all coming from API, right? So question is cool, this is really cool. I want also this representation in, in graphical format, but how? So first thing first, obviously you need Grafana. Uh, please raise your hand if you have anyone use Grafana. Cool, this is really cool. So yeah, it's available in both uh, in free and enterprise version. It supports various uh, uh, data visualization formats. So it supports, for example, time series, bar chart, and so. So uh, there is one confusion always like, uh, why my data is not coming in time series? So it depends on your data. If your API data maybe have some time series column, so uh, you will get in time series. Otherwise, the default is always the table one. So uh, it supports other as well. It depends again on the data. And the last thing is to connect, you need to connect with data source. What does this mean? So basically, in Grafana, you don't need to configure your application to connect to Grafana backend, and so you only need to connect it to a data source. So if you have a application, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> yeah. So if you have an application running on maybe locally or remotely somewhere else, but uh, it is accessible via API, so you can connect it with Grafana, and you can get your data. And to connect, and then uh, this line also means like, okay, how we do, how do we get the API connected? What is the source, uh, what is the data source which we need? So this is the other thing we need is the Infinity plugin. So Infinity plugin is basically, sorry, is a plugin uh, which is defined for Grafana. It is totally free, right? And it supports various visualization formats. So for example, it supports JSON format, it also supports uh, uh, CSV as well, HTML, or XML as well. And it also now supporting GraphQL. I know there is a, a whole block for GraphQL, so please check it out if you are interested. This is uh, this plugin do support GraphQL uh, data as well. And the second point, then the third point says, um, sup <coughs> supports many Grafana features. So this is always a little bit confusing for, for new people. What does it mean? Plugin itself is one thing and Grafana is other. So this plugin works for Grafana, but not every plugin supports Grafana features. For example, uh, this plugin supports authentication. So you need to authenticate with your API so that it remains secure. The second is public dashboard. So public dashboard is a new feature in Grafana. This means that you can connect, uh, you, you can share your dashboard to the outside world without worrying like, hey, uh, I need user permission and so on, or I am just uh, sending like a screenshot of it. So public dashboard is all supported by this plugin and also alerting as well. So the next step is the configuring the data source. Um, I call it as a two-step process because uh, the first thing is that you need to install uh, Grafana and one is done 
inside Grafana, you can simply go into the plugin catalog and install this uh, Infinity plugin. Uh, and w once that is done, you only need to configure your discourse API key so that it can authenticate and fetch the data you need. And how this is going to work? So in big picture, this is how it looks like. So you have Grafana and Infinity uh, running. You send a post request. It is wrapped in JSON and you use the discourse API token. And this uh, request goes to the discourse cloud where we are basically telling like, hey, discourse, uh, we have uh, this uh, community website. And using the, the exp uh, Data Explorer plugin, can you give me the ID for the query number seven? And this goes uh, request goes to the backend, which is Postgres uh, uh, on the backend side. And if it is all valid, then you will get a response in JSON format. This JSON result is read by Infinity, and it is uh, displayed in Grafana. And this is what you can design. And I would like to show you a small demo how this looks like in real. So yeah, this is our um, Play Grafana website, which is uh, free uh, to use, like to play around and test Grafana. And uh, maybe you can also uh, try it out to see how it looks. And right now we have, uh, for example, here, uh, we have some category defined. This basically, this is the category of all the community posts we have. So if I go on our community web page, uh, you can see here that we have, uh, for example, for Grafana, we have installation and configuration and so on. And this is what we have here. <coughs> so now this is uh, showing some data. Please ignore that these two, because these two are for historical reasons. So they do, do not work, but we have kept it for, for, for testing purpose. And if I want to see, let's say, a uh, result for dashboard, and I say like, hey, I want to see the dashboard category result for the for this running quarter, which is uh, Q3. Then I can get those uh, results dynamically f using uh, Infinity plugin uh, with getting the data from the discourse API. And I can similarly use, uh, see some more results, for example, for configuration. Yeah. And we have some panel here as well. So this is uh, for the top 20 posts in the configuration. So we can see like, OK, now we, we can see our efforts. For example, there is one post which has 500 plus views, and it is unsolved. So we need to work on it. While the rest, OK, still unsolved, but we, we need to focus on this. And this is all coming from API. And uh, this is uh, what uh, we just talked. Also, uh, we can s we don't need to use only one table panel vis uh, visualization, which is the table panel. We can use other visuals visualization as well. So for example, we, are we can use uh, um, pie chart or bar chart or a stat panel. Depends again on the your use case. Whatever data you have coming getting from the API, you can use it to visualize in, in your custom way, which is uh, uh, which can work, depends on the vi on the data again, on the visualization. So not as I said in the very beginning, that people expect that everything will come like in time series, which is not possible because this data does not have time series. It is all raw data coming from the, uh, from the community side, which <laughs> does not have any time series uh, column. So but there is a way to display it. And we are using like. Uh, table panel and other visualization formats as well. So coming and going to the page. And this is what we just talked about, right? And uh, troubleshooting. So uh, today I was in the morning session. I see. I I heard the keynote about uh, from about regarding the bank data. So any data for from customer side of yours is really use, uh, important and confidential. You don't want to make it public. And and as a software, uh, I'm not a software engineer, uh, but I know like software products always break. Either it can be unexpected or maybe uh, due to a major or minor release update and so on. But what happens like if you run in a pro problem, uh, then you simply go here and. Uh, 
randomize your data. That way your data remains confidential and you can simply send this to us for the debug purpose. So your data will remain secret, but you still get can help. And these are the resources if you want to get involved. You can check it out. And uh, last but not least, uh, this is a uh, very limited time, so I create, you can scan this QR code to get all the information about links and documentation, and you can feel free to ask me any question or contact me whenever possible. I'm available here as well or via email. So thank you.